All right, subscribers, so today I'm going to show you what this controller does, all its features. It's going to be a short video. Um, it's a really good controller. It's super light. Some people think that when something is light, it's cheap quality, but this isn't cheap quality. The joysticks are very responsive. So right now I shut off the controller. So you have the charging port here. I wish it was type C, but it's not, but it's okay. It's a micro USB charging. It charges very fast. Below an hour, it's fully charged. You got here a um, battery indicator. So this is four lights fully charged. Every time a light is off, it's 25% less of a charge. So you got here the power down button. You press it, powers down. You press it again, it powers on. So here you have to adjust um, basically the positioning of each stick. So if, if it's a little off, if let's say the robot moves too much to the left, too much on the right on its own, um, you could adjust it with these little buttons here. So right over here, you got two triggers. They're not really triggers because each one has three positions right here and here too. And then here you have a button right here. And then here you, you have a little wheel. So right now it's fully shut off. When both joysticks will actually, when this joystick, sorry, not joystick, trigger. When this trigger is fully down, that means controller is shut off. So basically whatever I do, Henry doesn't move. As soon as I bring it up a little bit, it means that I can move Henry. So see, this is a little bit on the joystick and he moves, look at that. I don't even need to do much. It's very responsive. So right now, he's on fast speed. If I want him on slower speed, I press it again, he's on slow speed. If I want him to stand up, I press here once for him to stand up. Then he's gonna, as you can see, he looked at me because that was his last position. I had him looking up the robot in general. He, um, it remembers the last positioning he was in. So right here, the joystick, you can control him going up and down. And then if I push left, well, right, he moves to the right, left, he moves to the left. All right. So this is left, right, and then up and down. Just like that. You can look all the way down or you can look all the way up. Just like that. So when you move him down and up, because of his weight, um, he moves a little bit, but he always goes back to his original position. So right here, he goes back a bit, then he goes back to his original position. And here, it controls basically his movement. So let's say you want him to turn. You just press here, he turns. So right now he's actually in fast mode. This is fast mode. So that means a little bit lower and he's in slow mode, just like that. Fast mode is a little too fast for indoors. Slow mode is better for indoors, but as soon as he's outdoors, moving fast is, is uh, pretty good. He's a little bit out of frame. There you go, now he's back. There you go, all right. So. Now, right here, if you press all the way up and you press this button right here, Henry is gonna dance. As you can see, a little bit of dancing right there. You could also move back and you can move forward just like that. All right, it's pretty cool how he can move like that. So you can move pretty cool. <laughs> all right, I lost control a little bit. So you can move basically back like he's skating, you see? Then he can move forward like he's skating, just like that. It's pretty cool. I'm going a little slower so I have more control. Um, but if you push this down, this one right here, push it down to the middle. Now when I press this button, he jumps. Oh, hold on. Oh, there you go. There you go, he jumps like that. See? So um, he won't jump when he's at the the fastest speed. He will only jump when he's at the slowest speed right here. So slow speed, well, slower speed is in the middle here. And then this trigger has to be in the middle as well. And then he could jump. And it may not seem like um, it's, it's crazy when he jumps, but if he jumps like indoors and you have like cabinets or anything, those cabinets are gonna shake. Like, he, cause he's heavy. It's crazy. Like everything shakes in the room. Now, if um, I push it back up here, 
just like that, back up from the middle, that's when he dances. Sometimes, like, I want him to dance, but then I press the, I don't have it in the right position, this, this uh, trigger, and then he jumps. It's kind of scary because I don't expect it. So right here, this controls his height. It's a little wheel. You go all the way down. His height goes down. All the way up. It goes up. All right. So when he's down, you can move his head a little bit. Like, he can't move up because he doesn't have the range. But if he's halfway, he can move up and down. All right, so let's say you have him down. He could also, um, I don't, I think he could jump. Let's see if he could jump. Yeah, he could jump. <laughs> That's new, I've never seen that before. But he could also crawl. This is what I find really cool. Like he could crawl. It's kind of like he's sneaking up on someone. Like he's gonna sneak up on someone and scare them. I think he's so cool in this position like here. Right here. So then also what you could do, you could drop him down all the way on the ground. Uh, to me, this is like Henry the RC car mode. It's basically like a car. And he could drive just like an RC car, just like that. Just like that. Very quiet. You don't even hear the motor. It's so quiet. I'll put it in slightly faster mode uh, on, on the fast mode. So the fast mode, whoa. The fast mode, he moves faster. It's like that. He's so cool. Then you bring him back up, and that's about it. If you want to shut him off, all you have to do is press down on this so that he goes down. You press down on this so that it shuts him off, shuts off the controller. And then all you do is we're going to walk towards Henry. All you have to do is press this button right here. This red button right here. You press it, boom, you shut off. So as you can see, his LEDs are off because everything is connected to, um, it's a Raspberry Pi. I forgot to mention in the last video. Basically, Henry is powered by Raspberry Pi 4. And there's also the motherboard of the company. The company designed a motherboard for Henry. Uh, sorry, for the Diablo robot. That's what powers Henry right now. It's, a, it's this motherboard that they designed and also it's connected to a Raspberry Pi so it's basically like a mini computer and that Raspberry Pi has four USB-A ports so in case you want to connect anything to it and it also has HDMI out in case you want to connect it and do anything on the Raspberry Pi 4 because it's basically a mini computer so that's pretty cool and yeah so this is Henry the RC car, aka Diablo Robot by Direct Drive Tech. And this video was to show you how to use the remote control. And if you want to buy the remote control uh, separate, I'll put a link in the description as well because it's available on Amazon. Anyone could buy it. And it also comes with this little attachment right here. So this attachment. It doesn't come with the controller, but you could purchase it separate. It's about like $10. And you connect it just like this, just like that. As soon as it's connected, you can still see the battery life. You can't charge it, but it's okay. You just remove it when you want to charge it. But you could put like a cell phone or a monitor for FPV, which is pretty cool. And that's actually what I use when I, um, drive Henry the RC car when I do the videos. So the company is called Radio Link, and it's a separate company from Direct Drive Tech. I'll put a link in the description for the controller, but this controller does come with the, with the Diablo robot from Di Direct Drive Tech, so you don't need to buy it separately. But if you want to buy it separately, you can. And yeah, so it's a really cool remote. It's amazing. I think I'm gonna put it also on some of my RC cars as well. I'm gonna buy a few of them to put them on my RC cars because they're really um, lightweight. They have a great range. I think it's about 500 meters or so. They have um, a monitor grip right here and it's perfect for anyone who wants to do FPV. So yeah, so this video is to show you how to control Henry the RC car and how to use this controller right here. All right, thank you very much for watching.